my god. <laughs> okay, you're not gonna believe it. I just looked up on Ikea's website to find out where in the store it is. And <laughs> you I'm gonna flip your. The day is finally here. So I got a notification from Ikea that the trestles are in and I'm crossing my fingers at the cupboards and the shelves are in, but I'm not really sure. So we're gonna head on over to Ikea and get the last, hopefully all the pieces for my studio and we're gonna finish assembling. Alright, so I am here. We're gonna go take a look through the whole place today. Um, I just want to see if I can find the shelves and the cupboards um, just so I can like physically touch them and like measure them and make sure everything was like the way I expected it because uh, I tend to go right to just like where you pick up everything but um, this time I kind of want to see what it looks like in person. So we're going to go through the whole place, see if we can find any interesting things and finds, see if we can find those things that I'm hoping to purchase. And then we'll go grab them and then head back to the studio. So let's go. I know this is kid stuff, but if you are a primary uh, art teacher, I mean, like, check out these cool tables. And, like, look, easy way to display your art, so. Hmm. So I like that shelf, but it's not going to be coming in until the 29th, so. So actually, wait, that would be only a few days. All right, we gotta go there. Oh yeah, that's the leg I'm looking for. The trestle. I just wish that everything that I wanted was on display, but it's not, so. Uh. Well, at least my table legs are here, so that's a bonus. I'm super excited. Okay, so they told me that the cabinets might come in on Saturday, but most likely will come in um, September 3rd. And now I'm here looking at the knobs for my little drawer thing that I refinished and also those cabinets, the little leather ones, and I honestly don't even see them as an option. <sighs> Look, it's just basic, it's just metal. Where's the leather? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, you're not going to believe it. I just looked up on Ikea's website to find out where in the store it is. and. <laughs> I'm gonna flip your Okay, so that was mildly successful. I just bought like the knobs and stuff like that I wanted that I wanted because they were here and now I'm realizing that maybe you have to like come to Ikea all the time to get th things that you want. The cupboard, the cabinets, not in. Shelves, well originally I wanted the steel ones but they're not in nor are those other ones that are like new to the store that are coming on the 29th or something. Mm -hmm. They're not in either so that means that all, <laughs> I came one trip, got tabletops, came a second trip, got the legs and some like tiny storage things. 
and I'm going to have to do at least three or four more trips in order to get all the pieces for the studio. And it's an hour drive both ways, so... And the other store, I checked the next store, which is like two hours from my house, and that's also... has nothing. So it's both locations, and um... They didn't also have the cute little basket that I wanted, um... Yeah. I just didn't have much. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely going to be another trip. Um... Next week! Wow, you guys are going to get to see so much of this progress. I thought, okay, I am a type of person who just likes to get everything done in one go. Just one. So it's actually painful for me that this is not going to happen all in one go. <sighs> but, but now that I've seen that new shelf that they just got in, I'm like, oh, that's so cute. And it has metal on the top. So I think that would be helpful for my sculptures. But... I don't know. I gotta think about it. Gotta think about it. I guess hopefully my studio will be done early September. You never know though, right? All right, let's head on back to the studio. Well, I'm back at my studio. It is time to put the tables together so that we can both see what it's gonna look like. I'm really excited to check out my new tables, see how everything fits. I think it's going to better inform my decision on if I'm going to get that shelving that I saw today, which I didn't notice on the website, or if I'm going to stick with the steel shelving. There is a price difference, so that also is something that I'm considering. Um, but yeah, it's time to uh, go ahead and assemble these tables. Um, I just clued into the fact that the trellises are in boxes, which means I have to assemble them. I'm really hoping that it's going to be easy. So we'll assemble that. Hopefully putting the tabletop on is also easy. And then we're going to see what it's going to look like. So next time you're going to be seeing me, it's meaning that you're going to see the tables looking beautiful. So let's go. Well, that's unfortunate for me. I gotta do this four times. Hmm. Should I open all four boxes and do it all at once? Or one at a time? This is going not... This isn't going to be fun is what I'm saying. So, super bad news. Um, I'm really upset. And one of these doesn't have... That one doesn't have two of those pegs. It's another two hours of driving. Yes, I am back at Ikea, and we're gonna go try and return this trestle leg and get another one. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. All right, second go. Okay, I am back, and we're gonna look. Two pegs, we are good. So those <sighs> go there, and we can go home. Oh my gosh. Well, it's 9.30, but I got it done. Okay, so got home from Ikea. Second time, put together the <laughs> trestles that I so desperately wanted and all the while I was super nervous. I'm like, are these going to be stable and sturdy enough for like clay, <laughs> art? I mean, like I have the, you know, I have the heavy duty 
heavy duty table. So that's okay. I can definitely use that. For, I mean, I always use that for anything that's really heavy. I always use that. For a while there, my spray booth was on it, so I could use it for wedging. I still have to tighten up screws because a decade of wedging on it has <laughs> loosened all the brackets. But that's okay. I can handle these things. I can handle. I can build things. I got this. Okay, but I got the tables done. And... Ikea, you did it. <laughs> I was disappointed that there was a piece missing, but that happens. It's okay. It's all good. I'm, I honestly, I did look around my studio after I've cleaned up and moved everything. It's, it was definitely not there. Um, so <laughs> I had to remove the whole studio in order to put the tables in and move it to the other side because of course no cabinets and no shelves so i moved everything over here until i can reorganize plus everything's off the uppers right now so and um then it's all going into the cabinets then i'll get myself a non-travel easel for my paintings and i bought storage containers like little cute wooden ones for all my art mediums instead of these dollar store baskets that are at least also 10 years old I'm not even sure I bought them. I think they must be hand-me-downs, so they must be older. <laughs> anyway, all my hand-me-downs are going out the door, and after 10 years of mm, having a studio, I'm actually doing this. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you the tables. Remember, it's just the tables. I know I had the plan of having the cabinets, the shelving, but you and me both know how that went. It didn't, it didn't go. So good news is that I found a cute plant also today. It's a ficus. Actually, before I show you my tables, I'll introduce to you ficus. Oh, isn't that just the cutest? I think it needs a name. Look at this pot also. Isn't that just so cute? I love it. It's a cutie. It's a keeper. So that's gonna look good on my table. Um, and I'm taking a monstera that I had. It's a baby elsewhere in the house. And this baby needs to get put into this pot. I've, I just like to switch my plants around constantly into new pots into new places. I don't know why. Anyway, we're gonna take a look at these tables because I know that you've been waiting for them. Also good news is that my fold up plastic table folds up really small. I haven't folded it in 10 years. Actually, I've probably never folded it since I unfolded it after I bought it from Walmart. So it actually fits perfectly against the wall between the spray booth and Alex drawer set and the wall. By my door so I can keep it because I figure that if I'm doing a lot of work and I'm needing more space or I'm painting and I don't necessarily want to paint my sculptures with paint on my nice table I can always unfold that and paint on it because I can put it in the center of my studio I have a lot of floor space in the center so I figure I will keep it as a multi-purpose situation because it's already covered in plaster. Because again, that mold <laughs> blew. Oh my gosh. Isn't that the most beautiful look ever? All right, we got Ella spray booth over there. Lovely little spray booth for spraying things. And this like, look at, look at, it's a seamless, surface and these okay so the reason why i was so um adamant about these legs is because they are adjustable so you can see this i can unscrew the peg so i can unscrew on each side and then it just loosens this bracket kind of like an easel right it loosens it and then i can lift it and put the peg in 
so it stops. So I'm pretty excited. I can also put things on the bottom, obviously, because it's Ikea and they're so smart. So I can make it two things. I can tilt the surface this way, right? Or I can lift the whole thing up and it can become a... The music stopped since your Spotify account is being used on another device. Well, fine then. Sharing is caring. Spotify. Okay. So, <laughs> that was so creepy also. And when has Google ever used a um, man's voice? What's up with that, Google? I mean, it's fine. Okay. Sorry. Got distracted again. Tables. Oh, yeah. So they can either tilt or I can lift them up and peg them up so they become standing tables. How cool is that? Second thing I was really worried about is the stability of it. I didn't know what the quality of this wood was, but it's good. Um, mostly I'm really concerned about it because again, clay, this thing is not moving. This is like way better than my plastic tables. And they're just solid. Also, I got one of the lights assembled. Of course, it's Ikea, so you gotta assemble everything. They just clamp on. I like that they clamp on because my camera arm that I use for filming means that can clamp on also, which is why I like this tabletop. So that's cool. At least you gotta see the tables complete. I know you have been waiting because I have been waiting and it was a huge part of this. I can't wait to show you all the cute little organizers I also got at Ikea. I'll give you a sneak peek because, yeah. I got those like cute wooden drawers that you saw me get. got this, I, instead of putting like a tablet, which I don't have a tablet, but I could put um, a phone. More importantly, I figured this would be a great sketchbook holder. Like, you know, have my ideas, I'm painting away, and this can hold my sketchbooks, like a recipe book holder, but for sketchbooks. Anyways, baskets, I thought I could put my crayons and stuff in there. Mm -hmm. I gotta show you one more thing. Okay. I saw on the IKEA website, on their, um, you went for a serious fall. I hope that was cool. Anyway, before I go got these vases. They're vases, but on the Ikea website, they put like paper on the inside, just rolled, and then use them as paintbrush holders. I'm gonna try it. So, okay. <laughs> That's what I got. The cylinders, I thought it'd be cute. It's gonna be woodsy and just calm in here. Anyway, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button because next week we gotta go back to Ikea. So we got to get the cabinets, hopefully that are not sold out, and those shelves. Hit that subscribe button, make sure you follow the channel, like this video, and give me some ideas. What else should I do in this studio to make it a perfect, calm workspace? I'm Ms. Artastic, and I'm going to go to bed. See you later. I'm Ms. Artastic, and that's the end of this episode. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button, and for more art lessons, 100 exclusive art lessons, make sure that you check out my course, 100 Cartoons for Kids. The link is in the description of this video and it's 100 exclusive drawing tutorials, premium drawing tutorials for kids. You can use it as a course for at home if you're a kid. You can follow along with any medium or if you're a teacher, you can use it as your directed drawing program in your classroom for obviously an entire year because you have 100 drawing videos to choose from for your classroom. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video and comment with ideas for things that you want me to draw in future drawing tutorials. I'm always open for ideas, so comment with things that you want me to draw and let's make some art.